are back. Took a little break for the holidays of vlogging, just kind of hung out at home with the family and enjoyed myself. Today we're going to switch up how the vlog runs a little bit. Um, I'm heading out to Wendover to play some poker. So we're going to try it a little different. We're going to go with a more uh, favorable type of vlog. We're going to do some hand reviews and review a little bit of a poker session. So. is a quality place to go shooting. We'll save that for another episode. Pepper Mill, home casino, as much as I would love to not call it that. We'll get a, give it a proper, proper looking. All right guys, we're here. There's a couple games going. I think there's a two or three one-two games and a two-five game. So let's go hop on the list for the one-two and see where we go. First hand of the session, we pick up ace five off in the big blind. Go ahead and make the fold. Next hand, we pick up queen ten of clubs from the small blind. Middle position opens to seven. Folds around to us in the small blind, where we go ahead and make the three bet to 21. He makes the call, and we see a flop, which brings six, four, three with two diamonds. Go ahead and make a standard uh, C bet to 20, he calls. We're off to a turn, which brings the queen of diamonds. Go ahead and check this over to him, making a pair. He bets 50, go ahead and make the call. River brings an offsuit three. I check it over to him, he checks back. And he shows us pocket sevens. The queens are good and we are off to a nice start in our session. All right, in the next notable hand, under the gun opens to six. Guy in middle position calls and I look down at jack five of hearts in the small blind. I call as well, and the big blind calls him and go four ways to a flop of queen jack five with two clubs. I go ahead and just bet to 15. Big blind raises to 25. I call, and under the gun plus one calls. We go to a turn, that's the eight of hearts. I check, and it checks through. We see a river, which is the four of clubs, completing the flush draw. I go ahead and just bet to 40 here, and they both pretty much insta call. Um, big blind shows pocket aces. Under the gun plus one shows us the good old 6-7 for a river straight. I'm not really sure if I like the call on the flop. I think I kind of let 6-7 get there on the river. Um, I think I should probably re-raise there and go for value, but it's a learning experience at 1-2. What can we say? After the previously mentioned Jack-5 of hearts hand, we begin to run pretty poorly. I'm um, picking up some premiums, but we just can't make a flop to save our lives. Stack starts to trickle off, and uh, I was actually about ready to call it a night when we picked up Ace Ten of Spades. So this hand is where the session really decided to take a turn for the better. We flop quads. Um, I check the flop over to him and just call the bets. I uh, check raise the turn, and I bet right into him, hoping to get a raise on the river. Um, but actually, the guy under the gun plus one made the call. Under the gun plus two folded a low straight. He was the one I was actually trying to get to induce on the river, but he made the fold with the loose straight, and we just picked up a pretty good sized pot and this is where it really just decides to take off for us and we start hitting flops. In the next hand I was able to take notes on under the gun plus one opens to ten I'm in the hijack with ace jack of spades go ahead and make the call the button in the blinds also call so we're four ways to a flop which comes nine seven three three spades. The big blind leads for 25 I flat with the absolute nuts just hoping to not rip anyone off their hand or any king king high flush draws Cutoff goes ahead and rips it for 60. Big blind calls, and I just decide to flat this for the same reasons. Turns the offsuit 5, and here the big blind just decides to check it over. I rip it in, and uh, he makes the fold. Then we're off to a river, which brings an offsuit deuce. 
Guy that shoves shows pocket nines for a flopped set, which is no good to our nutted flush. And we scoop that one and another positive hand in the session for us. It's actually the last one I was able to take notes on. And from here we were able to chip up our stack, making a couple good calls on uh, questionable boards. But uh, I thought I had some good reads um, on a player that was getting tilted by the drunk player. So ended up working out for us and we booked a win for the day. All right, guys, that is the end of the session. It's a good day, we battled back. We were stuck pretty much the whole session. We really caught a hot streak at the end to get above. And we'll see how this first poker-related vlog goes. Uh, we had a winning day, so let's get on that two-hour drive home. <laughs>